In this video, we're going to be looking at the Tenlog Hands 2 3D printer. It is dual independent hot ends. I have four other printers besides this printer. Specifically, I want to talk about the independent dual hot end and why I think this is so cool and whether or not it's worth the extra money you might spend to get this. I do want to point out that Tenlog sent this to me for free to do this review. They didn't tell me what to say in the review. I mostly just want to talk about why I think independent dual hot end is so cool and kind of show you in this video what I've been doing with it. Before I got this 3D printer, I have another 3D printer that's dual extrusion. It's got a single hot end, has two filaments going in. And when I got this printer, I was so excited. I was really excited to try to do prints that are multicolors. And my excitement quickly turned into disappointment and frustration. I found that using this printer was very difficult because I had to configure things in the slicing software so that the filament would retract so I could put the other filament in and I was just having problems with that and I was getting it stuck and all sorts of weird things. So I wasn't a huge fan of that. On top of that, I found out if you have a single hot end and you have two filaments going in, you'll need to print a print tower. I, I think that's what they're called. But basically, you'll have to print a tower to use up the filament color so that when you put the other color back in, it doesn't bleed into each other. I found this to be problematic. For one, you're just adding another element that can mess up your print. And for two, you're just using up a lot of extra filament just to have two colors. So when I got this 10 log 3D printer, I was really happy to try it out because I didn't have to worry about the hot end extruding extra filament so that the colors don't bleed. It's got its own hot end for each color. This is pretty cool. I didn't have to print any towers or anything like that to get it to work. And with this printer, it hasn't had any problems switching back and forth between the hot ends. I actually haven't done any configuration to the printer. It's slightly off with the colors and there is a way that you can align it. I've just been too lazy and honestly, it's close enough that I haven't really cared. Probably my favorite thing with this printer is that you can print two things at once. Doing duplicate prints doesn't really take any extra effort. You just have to make sure that the model is small enough that you can print two of them on the bed. I did notice when I first started doing this that I had the model on the center of the bed. And then when I tried to do duplicates, it did one on the center and one tried to print off of the bed. Uh, I think there's a way you can configure the printer so it doesn't do this. I just changed where the model location was in the slicing software and put it on the left. And that was the easiest way for me to solve that problem. Talking specifically about this 10 log 3D printer, uh, obviously the independent dual hot ends is the most distinguished feature, but there's a few other things I wanna talk about. For one, the assembly was really nice and easy. I was able to set it up really quick. You basically just have to screw on the frame and then screw on the extruders or the, the hot ends. And that's it. On all my other 3D printers, the navigation or the touchscreen is absolutely horrible. And honestly, I'm not going to say that this 10 log is great or fantastic. It's just much better than all the other 3D printers I've used. Uh, there might be something better out there, but for this, it's actually pretty good. So I've been happy with the navigation for this 3D printer. Another thing I like about this printer is it does come with a heated glass bed. I know not everyone prefers a glass bed, but I do. I really like when the glass bed cools, you can kind of just pop the models right off. I find that glass is the least messy and easiest to deal with. So I like that it has a glass bed. So going back to my original question, is the independent dual hot ends actually worth the price? So I did some digging on Amazon. I did some price comparisons and I tried to compare printers that had the same bed size. And what I found out is there are actually a lot of single hot end dual extrusion 3D printers that are the same price as this one. Kind of a no brainer to get the dual hot end. I did find a couple models of 3D printers that were the same size, dual extrusion, single hot end that were about $100 cheaper. And I think that's kind of probably what you would expect on the extreme side is you can pay up to $100 more 
to get the independent dual hot end. But is it worth it? I think honestly, for me, I don't necessarily care to have prints that are two colors. I, I think it's kind of cool. And in some instances, I could see like, if you were printing out models for games and you really wanted to have dual color, that, that might actually be worth it. For me, for the colors, eh, probably not worth it. What is worth it for me is being able to print two things at once with my boys. I like to be able to give them each a toy at the same time, the same toy, so they don't have to fight over it. I really like that. And if you print parts, which I have recently started doing, it's really nice that you can print two things at once just so you can print twice as fast. If you want to get a 3D printer that's dual color and you're debating between a single hot end that's cheaper or dual hot end, I actually would recommend going with the dual hot end. If you don't care too much to have two colors and you don't need to print two things at once, just get a single extrusion 3D printer with a single hot end. Let me know in the comment section what things you actually care about in a 3D printer and if you think having two colors on a print is actually worth that much to you or not, or the ability to print two models at once. Honestly, I didn't really think about it much until I got this printer and now that I have it, I think it's really cool. I have a link posted below to this printer if you want to check out the current price. Thanks again to Tenlog for sending this to me. Uh, I really enjoyed using it. So yeah, thanks.